Okay, you guys are in for a treat today. On this episode, I'm interviewing Christina Harrell. Oh man, she is an amazing woman. Um, I would watch on YouTube if you can. She's so beautiful. I was just like, whoa, like when when it started, I'm like, who is this woman? <laughs> and actually, um, when she, you know, she started out her career, she was a, a a model for like Christian Dior and um she's English, you know, so you'll hear her accent and she shares just her incredible life journey is insane. Um, so she her her business, um, she's a founder and CEO of Spa Fari, and it's an eco adventure vacation company. So she's spent her life going all around the world, bringing people um, to all these incredible locations, connecting to nature, which I was like, oh, soul sister. That's what I'm just starting to create right now with the retreats that we're doing. By the way, first retreat is at the end of um, April in, in Zion National Park here in Utah. Um, but it was just so cool to hear her experiences um, doing already have already having had done for many years what I'm starting to do, you know, and man, she's like, I mean, she has been featured in in style people cooking light heart and soul self, you know, Conde Nast traveler allure cosmopolitan t- today, a and ESPN. I mean, the list goes on. Like she is incredible and she shares this amazing story that I know is going to leave an impact on you. She um, basically was with a tribe and got lost in an endangered situation and was guided out of it. And it's, it's very, um, <laughs> cinematic. In fact, she shares that the book that she wrote about it, um, that just came out and it's called captivated an adventure in faith. Um, she's now writing a screenplay for it. So maybe we'll be able to see that in the movies coming here soon. So anyway, wow, this woman has so much, not only does she have so much insight and such incredible stories to tell, but she has so much joy in her soul. Like she sees the beauty and everything, like literally just listening to her is inspiring because of the way she looks at everything. So beautiful. So anyway, we will go ahead and get into the episode. Now here is Christina Harrell. So I want to tell you guys about one of my favorite finds in the health industry in the last few years. It's something I use with all my clients and that has been extremely impacting on me as well. And that's the upgraded formulas, hair mineral tests, their consults and their nanoparticle size minerals. So um, I started on this path because I was taking in a high quality magnesium. And when I tested, I found out that I was extremely deficient in magnesium. And once I started using their nanoparticle size magnesium, my levels went right up. And what I experienced was incredible. I started getting more REM sleep. I was, I realized I hadn't been dreaming in years, started dreaming again, and also noticed that I didn't think I had anxiety until I got my magnesium back up and noticed that I was experiencing quite a lot of anxiety and that went away and I was able to enter back into a place of calm and peace. And, um, it was just incredible. And so since then I've been using it with all of my clients and it's so easy. All you have to do, they'll mail you out a little envelope and you just put some hair in it and mail it back into their lab. And then you do a consult with them over the phone and they'll tell you all about your ratios, what's high and what's low, because you can't know this unless you test, there's no way to know. And you can't just crap shoot minerals. You have to make sure that your ratios are on point. So they will tell you exactly what you need more of exactly what you need less of to get those ratios on point. So you can have optimized brain health and hormones and sleep and metabolism. So, um, they're also giving you 10% off for being an inside out health listener. So that code is just inside out. So, um, go to upgradedformulas.com and just enter inside out at checkout and you'll get 10% off their consults, um, the hair tests and any products that you may need to get your ratios. Right. So, um, yeah, take advantage of it guys. It's something I use with every single one of my clients. It's been wildly impacting and I'm happy to be able to extend that discount onto you guys too, as a thank you for listening to the podcast. Hey guys, before we get into the episode, I wanted to take a moment to tell you about higher coaching. This is my coaching system and I get a lot of questions because, um, it's not just training and nutrition. We do that. I love training and nutrition, obviously, but we also do more. We do personal development and the way that's delivered is a 90 day personal development program that you go through with me when you work with me. So it's a video course with questions for you to deep dive in yourself for the first 90 days of working with me. Now that comes as part of a morning routine. I am really big on the morning routine and you ask any of my clients, I will push you on that because it's life changing. So we start with meditation and then we do gratitude and then that personal development program. Um, that's our deep dive 
psychologically and after the 90 days you go to the next level you start doing what I'm doing currently and it's a lot of strategic goal setting and it's really really honestly miraculous what's happening not only in my life but in my clients lives like it brings me to tears when I get on calls with them I'm like do you see yourself like do you see what you're doing that is so cool so anyway that is um, for me the bread and butter of my coaching I love it so much um also though in, in regards to your body, I also like to go deep dive and see what might be holding you back. So that's where all the biohacking side comes in. We do a physiological deep dive as well. So we do blood testing, hair mineral testing, DNA testing, body composition, aura ring. Um, so your heart rate variability, your sleep cycles. Do you have any deficiencies? Do you have issues with sleep you didn't even know about? Let's find out, you know? Um, so that's that's how I approach things in higher. There's more. We do prizes every month. Nikes, Lulus, um, all of my favorite products and foods to keep you motivated, to keep those habits up. We do three Zoom calls a week so you get support. We have a private Facebook group. We're all vibing and, and cheering each other along the way. We get raw and real and honest. And it's just, yeah, it's like I created my life and I created my life the way I like. And I like to deep dive with a bunch of bad A people that really want to optimize their lives. And it's an honor for me to serve them in that. Um, so I just thought I would tell you about it because I don't know if I talk about it quite enough. So if you're looking for that, if you're like wanting the next level in your body and also in your life, truly, that's what we're doing. So uh, seeking bad A's <laughs> to join higher. I do have some spots open. Um, it is limited. I can only handle so many clients at a time. But if you would like to find out if it's a good fit for you, you can go to my website, taragarrison.com, and you can request a call and we can see if if it's a great fit for you. Um, and yeah, I, I just wanted to tell you guys about Hire so you could get a little glimpse into what I'm doing on the daily. And if you're looking for something a little more self-guided, I do have my Keto In and Out program um, on my website. So you can either do a small taste and try it for eight weeks or you can go a full year. That baby is comprehensive. There is a video of every recipe, video of every exercise. There's a 60 day course teaching you how to do keto or 30 days of keto and then 30 days of bringing back the carbs, FAQ video library, Facebook group, like all of that. So if you're more of like the self-guided person and you just want stuff planned for you, um, that is also an option on my website. It's taragarrison.com. I'll link it all in the show notes. And all right, we'll go ahead and get into our episode. So Christina, we just chatted before we started and we're like, oh my gosh, like soul sister. And you've been doing, basically you've been made your life's work. What I am getting ready to start doing is kind of like what it sounds like and connecting people to nature, um, taking people out into these experiences, reconnecting. And so I'm almost like so excited. I'm like, I don't even know where to start, but, um, <laughs> you know, I guess I will start with how you started, you know, what, why tell us a little bit about what spa fari has been and why you started doing that well it actually um i do explain it a little bit in my book i, I started to uh, originally I, I when i was growing up my father would ask us geography questions at the dinner table mm. and because i was the oldest of five children i had a map on the, my wall and i wanted to give the right answers and so as a young person i almost felt like i was zooming over to to see these places, I want to know mm. more about them. And then I had mm. to go and see them. Mm. And so traveling for me has been so important. I feel, first of all, I love to go into nature. I love to see these wonderful little tribes. I, run, I love to connect, you know, the heart of humanity when you, when you smile and they, you know a few words of their language and they welcome you there. Yeah. All of that. Cool. And then I found that more and more, um, a lot of people are stressed they they hang into what what is not necessary to to hold into their hearts and their bodies and the more mm. i get people into nature they they get in touch with themselves and they get in touch with their hearts and their spirits and you know i i always talk about you know the four legs of health and vitality and 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 everything is there's many things i feel we should be our own mechanic and tune into ourselves and know what we need yes. to eat what we need to do, whether we need to meditate, whether we need to cleanse ourselves, um, yeah. what it is we need to, because I really feel, now this is silly to say, but this is like our earth suit. I want it to be as healthy. Yeah, no, agreed. As clean, mm -hmm. as peaceful, as tuned in as we can possibly be. Yeah, 
Absolutely. You know? And so the more you know, the more you want to know about yourself. Yeah. My listeners who like know me well are probably like, oh, wow, you guys are soul sisters. I mean, these are <laughs> the same things that I say all the time. And it, it probably is because we've been, we've been dipping from the same well, you know what I mean? So the same kind of messages have come through, but I always say that I'm like, tune into yourself. You, I always say you're your own best coach, you're your own best personal trainer, your own best healer, you're your own best personal development mindset coach. It's all in there. And it's just providing space. Yeah. A time, like, when are you going to find that out? If you're going from meeting to meeting, to meeting, to dinner, to soccer practice, to TV, yeah. to bed. And it's like, you just didn't have a chance to get there. It's waiting for you. It's, it's everything that you want in your life is waiting for you, but you just have to provide some space to tap into it, you know? Yeah. And so you've created these experiences for people yes. in order to do that based off of your own. You're like, this is good. This is needed. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what those experiences were like, have been like. Well, um, first of all, as I say, I've traveled the world. I love to find beautiful trails. For example, one example, say I'm in yeah. uh, Lake Como, Italy, and I'm in staying in Bellagio. We'll take a, every day a boat to different parts of the lake and we'll hike from the pre-Alps, Alps and Dolomites. Mm. And then oh I tune gosh. in because I know, okay, so there's people with different different levels of fitness. Yeah. And uh, so I have hikes appropriate for everybody that will be on the trail. Mm. But every day we eat healthy food, completely mm. organic, uh, stretch. I teach a flow, a wonderful flow, kind of yoga mm. flow. Yeah. And I really believe for our bones, we need to do I even take thick rubber bands with me so we can do mu muscle toning, you know, things like cool. this. Yeah. A lot of it really is. And that's just one place in the world you can imagine. I mean, <laughs> now my heart is like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I go to Bhutan once or twice a year. I know the Royal family. I, you know, I'm in Africa, India, Peru, Southeast Asia, all kinds of places. Wow. But the most important thing is for me is to get into nature and you know, I find places where after we've hiked a lot, we sit and meditate, we look mm. out into nature, we have a beautiful, healthy lunch, come back, get massages, if they want them, not every time, but every, <laughs> but it's, it's tuning in. And if somebody says, oh, I've got a bad back. No, don't make it bad. Stretch it out. You know, you've got to, this is your life, a precious life. I want you to say yes to your life. Yeah. You know, be right. the best you can be and learn what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to also visual, visualize with myself and walk through life with strength and purpose, you know, nice mm -hmm. and tall, yeah. short back, extend the stride and, uh, and always mm -hmm. wear things that are comfortable. You know, it's not about being a Barbie doll in life. It's right. about being as healthy as you can for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And it's yeah. so it's inside oh. out. It's living like our, the podcast is called, it's living from the inside out instead of yes. the outside in being a Barbie is I'm going to do all these things and live this robotic life. So uh, for, for other people, it makes no sense yes. instead of, yes. you know, health, true health is from the inside out. Like, how do I feel? What yes. do I feel best at? You know, it's yes. very self-loving. So I love that. You know, and another thing I have to say, when I get to somewhere and I've been traveling you know, in the plane and I'm, you had to stay in Bangkok, whatever, for a night and flying somewhere. You get there and you, you turn past a mirror and you look at you. Well, there you are. <laughs> I'd like to see myself because who I am is that light that shines through. It's like that I connect with myself. Mm, you, you become mm. your best friend. Yeah. You're traveling through life with yourself and you have an adventure with you. I, you know, just you saying that, I love that so much. Uh, my first time ever traveling by myself, I was doing a study abroad in Spain during college. Yeah. And it just so happened that the flights, they, they messed, they changed the flights and they were like, we're so sorry. We're going to have to have you stay overnight in England and put you up in a hotel in London. <laughs> I was like, oh, darn it. <laughs> so rats, you know? So here I was leaving that my study group, you know, with my college and I'm in England for one night. I got there it was already dark and I was like so excited. I'm like, I get to see England bonus trip. 
yes. and I jumped on the tube and I went and I'm like, Oh my gosh, there's the big Ben and there's the uh, Buckingham palace. And I, 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 the red telephones booths and the <laughs> double decker buses, like it's all the here. <laughs> and I was completely by myself. And it was the first time in my life. I was 20 years old. It was the first time in my life that I found out how much fun you can have by yourself. It was like a pure meditation for the entire night. And it was incredibly fun. And it, it changed me, you know, and I know that you must have had many of those experiences where you're like being by my, I love being by myself, being by myself is fun. And then I get to go connect with whoever, you know, it's this beautiful flow. It's like being in flow and surrender with the universe. It really is. And and also kind of having faith that you're always protected. And I always feel like yeah. I tune in, I can, I like to tune in and so I'm guided, you know, I mean, you know, mm-hmm, like for instance, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I have so many stories of being in a, there's an island called Dominica, which is, I love it. It's like flying into mm-hmm. Peter Pan's Island. So green wow. with the mountains. It's got the world's largest boiling lake at the top of one of the mountains. And, boiling um, lake? A boiling lake. Is that what you said? Yes, boiling lake. Uh huh. Wow. This is a volcano, <laughs> and if if you're um, scuba diving or snorkeling or something, they call it the champagne dive. So all the bubbles from the heat are coming on your tummy as you're swimming. You know and that's interesting. But there was one time. Oh I was, my gosh! I was group and I'm I'm walking and suddenly I felt. Hmm. I think we'd better turn around or go that way. And it was really like I had like God told me, I've got you protected, mm. but don't go that way. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we did. We went the other way. And then I found out the way I was going to go, the earth had opened up. And we would have had to go down a wow. very deep. And, but I was I really, <laughs> see, I'm tuned in and feel yeah. guidance and the protection. Yeah. 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 And that's a beautiful and you trust thing. it. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. That is. Oh man. Okay. So, um, we talked a little bit before we started about, um, some of the, well, I don't know. Should I not say (laughs) about like some of the surprises you do? I guess I shouldn't say I can't about on your retreats, what you, some of the going into nature. And, uh, and I always say to people, look, let's not chatter on the trail. Let's, let's be quiet. So because if somebody wants to be quiet and there are two, two people behind you, they don't right. need to hear you or whatever you want to say. <laughs> so, I mean, it would be nice to talk about that flower or some yeah. bird in the sky. But go and open yourself, your heart up to be in nature and allow nature to flow into, you know, you. And I often, I often, often see the light dancing on the leaves. And, and I feel, oh, that light is, feels so lovely, or the lakes, or the rivers, or the snow even. And um, then you, you really tune into the bird songs. Mm-hmm. And, of course, you, you see the, the lovely wildflowers and the leaves. <laughs> there's a, in Colorado, it's funny because there's different trails that we hike up to. And uh, pretty high, some of them. And there's the aspen leaves and they're kind of like this. It's almost like they're clapping. Good job. You came up. (laughs) Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. We have a lot of those here in Utah too. They're so beautiful. (laughs) I I love that. And those are things you would never notice or have the time to even come up with the idea that they're clapping if you were talking over it all. And I love what you're saying there because so much. Uh, I think we miss often that our minds are receivers. Um, Napoleon Hill teaches this concept in Think and Grow Rich, and he says that the mind can be a transmitter or a receiver. But when we're so active and we're talking, 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 we're not allowing that receiving to come in. Oh. And you're allowing that. And, and and I consider nature a portal to the divine. Yes, it's, it is. Yeah. Yes. And so very and wise. <laughs> again, I, you know, I would say it's God's artwork of nature. And, uh, and I certainly miss it if I'm in a city and you just, you know, because you get used to it, you, you kind of need it. I mean, I actually have, um, I'm up in my office here, but next door I have this beautiful room with um, high windows looking out to the mountains mm. and they're like a necklace. I mean, all of them are high peaks all around me wow. and, uh, <laughs> and they, they still have some snow on them, but it's so lovely to be there and just, you know, either stretch or write or meditate or whatever, you know, it's just lovely. Yeah, it's, so, it's so create your own space that is peaceful. Yeah. 
And that yeah. even if it's winter, you go in there and have some nice music and uh, and mm. tune into yourself, you know, and then listen at the end of the day. I always like to do this. Um, look through the day and have the gratitude that we have, you know. Wow, that was so great that that happened. And, uh, yeah. and then um, I was like, oh, please, you know, God, uh, I always like to have... Um, to feel kind of a bless a blessing almost like the holy spirit is giving you a hug before dead and it feels so nice to go to sleep by that and then you're so peaceful oh wow that's so oh, yeah. beautiful yeah. yeah i love that about creating a space that's peaceful for yourself you know inviting in like having some intention there yes. um i i just moved right like this week and i'm that's what's happening and it's you know on my mind so much i'm like how can i bring in more nature how can i bring in more nature and honor it because it's it's something about it just changes your entire internal space that you're in because we are nature. Our bodies are nature. You know, they came from nature and they're going back to nature they're basically on loan. Thank you, nature for the body, you know? Um, And so like we, we're at one with ourselves and with nature when we're in it, you know? So there's something incredibly soul soothing about having that in our immediate presence. So I love that you're sharing that. Yes. Um, Yes. Okay. I have to ask. Oh, go ahead. Did you have a thought? No, I just was going to say that um, there's been some magazines have, have come on my trips, you know, and, and I always say no matter where I go, there's always a lovely place that I feel is waiting for me to go and sit and meditate. I love you know, that. A little ledge somewhere or something. And oh. every, you know, here I go. And I just, oh, yes, this is the place I've got to just enjoy. And uh no, I, I, it's always just tuning in and just being your best friend. Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. That's beautiful. You live a life full of magic. You're finding magic everywhere you go. You're led by magic. You're, you're seeing it. And I always say, um, I believe that God or the universe or whatever words people put to it loves to give to a grateful receiver. It's just like when we give a gift to someone, if they're, you know, every time you give a gift to someone, they're kind of like, cool. Thanks. You know, and they move along. It's, you just, you might still give them gifts, but it's not quite as fun. Whereas you, if you have someone that's like, Oh oh my gosh, I love this. Thank you. You, what do you want to do? You want to give to them more, you know? And I feel like it's that way when we're grateful receivers, Mm -hmm. I just, I feel like our angels or whoever behind the works are like, she's going to love this. She's going to love this, you know, because they know it's received with so much gratitude. You know, I find (laughs) that people for me, when they come on my trips, um, and some of them have been coming for years. And years <laughs> I can see why. There's a, different, there's a different part of them that they are even clearer and happier. Mm, and more peaceful mm. and more beautiful. And it's not about facelifts and everything. It's just about what they're shining through. <laughs> right. You know, they've, they've got more in touch with themselves and they love themselves. They love, yeah. they just love the joy of being out there and, and having this celebration every year, you know. Um, yeah. And for me, because there's so many different places to go, you know, but luckily, huh, heck, you know, there's Sedona, which I think is very pretty, but more and more people are going to these places. So it's nice yeah. to look for places that aren't so busy. Yes. The, yeah. uh, the, uh, like diamond in the rough, the undiscovered treasure, yeah. <laughs> um, on that note, I'm like, I gotta, I, I'm like, I gotta ask you, like, please tell us you've been so many beautiful places. Like what are some of your favorites? Favorites? Yeah. Well, well, I love, love, love Bhutan simply because some of the hikes there are so, so beautiful. And I, I've been there again for years since they opened the doors. They, they were kind of close to the outside world for a while. And now mm. they're open. And, mm. um, and I love to hike up to these places. Sometimes there's hikes where people come, monks come from all over the world. And there's like a zigzag trail that goes to the very top of the mountain. Huh. There's this sort of temple up there. And each of the zigzags, you have these huts where monks are there to meditate. And they meditate for three years, months, wow. three months, three, three weeks, three days, three hours, three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't, you don't want to chat when you go up there because they haven't heard a word of anything for years. And, wow. and, and then you get to the top and then the monks are waiting to do their chanting for you. That's lovely. And you say, wow. it's just, that's lovely. Yeah. But um, honestly, oh, gosh, I mean, all kinds of places in Southeast Asia. I love Africa. Um, mm-hmm. 
I, it's at the, I'm at the point now where I just want to make sure wherever I go is peaceful and they haven't been overcrowded. Mm. So I'm kind of my radar is really, really honing around the world to find these places that are really good. But again, yeah. Bhutan, Africa, I have many places in Africa that I love. Where do you love in Africa? Well, uh, Botswana, Namibia, Zambia, Zimbabwe, uh, <laughs> Kenya, Samburu, uh, <laughs> the, the Loita Hills. <laughs> You're like, let me, let me list a couple. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. And I haven't know, been. Sometimes I hike through Africa. I mean, we, we go um, at d- different times. And again, I have my prayer. <clears throat> we, all the carnivores will be sleeping. <laughs> and they are. <laughs> and, um, and then I have a friend who was married to a um, Samburu warrior. She's, mm-hmm. she's a blonde woman. And she... Mm-hmm. She, she has um, a wonderful place there, which is interesting. You know, and I've met all these incredible Samburu uh, or, you know, all, all kinds of people that are living in these little villages. And then I might bring some red blankets for them because they mm. love the blankets and things. Mm. And, and they welcome us in. And, and again, it's the heart of humanity. I just find it so touching. And they definitely they hear me, and or sometimes I have these songs that I learn, and I might be singing in the distance, and the children come out and they all rushing around, oh. and welcoming me. I, you know, oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am often overwhelmed with the same feeling. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've I've never said this out loud, but sometimes I'll even even at the gym, even when I'm working out at the gym, like I'm just like looking around at all these people that I don't know. And I'm just like, this is, this is everything that matters. Like every single one of these people is like, they're, they're an expedition in themselves. Like the, the experiences they've been through, like being able to bring that is like exploring, you know, that's, I love, I'm very extroverted. I love meeting new people because it's such a gift. I'm like, tell me, what did you, what have you, what's happened? You know, it's a whole exploration trip on its own. Of, yeah. Yeah. And it's just, uh, uh, well, it's I have, yeah, where I live in Aspen, I have to say that there's a quite, quite a few people like me. Yeah. The travels. I have one friend <laughs> who lives in Brazil and she lives here too. And she's had all these incredible adventures. Mm. And, and it's so great to go on a trip and to a hike and just share some of the fun things that you, yeah, and it's, it's an adventure in an adventure. You're, you're, <laughs> you're yeah. adventuring inside your adventure by experiencing <laughs> what they've experienced. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Um, Speaking of adventures, I wanted to talk about your book. So your oh. book is called Captivated, an Adventure in Faith. Yes. Um, and you talk about a journey deep into the Sahara Desert. Yeah. So can yeah. you tell us a little bit about the book? Well, it's it's an amazing story. And it's been on the backbone of my life for years and years. And not until COVID happened. Mm. Uh, you know, last year I said, yeah, I've been writing snippets of it. And then mm. I said, that's it. I'm going to finally have it published so I um I put a lot of time and effort I couldn't travel you know a lot of my trips on hold right and uh, here I am in Colorado and it was kind of wintry and I'm working away and it's really a story about when I was 20 I was living in Paris and believe it or not in those days I was a I was uh, anyway I was a model I was a that's not but, shocking. You're very beautiful, oh, guys. If you aren't watching on YouTube, I mean, she's extremely stunning. So it's uh, not a surprise. Anyway, <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much. But anyway, I was discovered by a well-known photographer in London. I was visiting a cousin, and uh, David Bailey, and he um, he said, you know, I need to take your picture. Well, he sent it into one of the agencies, and lo and behold, I became a, a model for Christian Dior and all kinds of other people. Wow. And uh, so anyway, I'm invited I was living in Paris in this incredible place on Ile Saint Louis, and um, I met this guy who was a—he a, was just a, a dancing friend. And he said, "Come on holiday with me to Tunisia. Two friends want us want me to invite a woman to come." Well, lo and behold, I did, and we we're on this cusp of the Sahara Desert, and in this incredible hotel with no other staff, no other clients, rather huh. a beautiful hotel. And a Bedouin tribe came by to dance for us. And uh, incredible, the dancing was great. The music was great. And this very handsome sheikh 
mm. the sheikh of the tribe, saw me and he said, um, I wanted to have somebody follow my tribe and take pictures for my posterity. And um, huh, wow. I said, well, so I called a friend in, <laughs> I called a friend in Paris. I said, would you ask National Geographic? national geographic if they'll accept my um pictures and she said she came back to me she said yes they would she said make sure you keep your cat your lens away from the dust you know and send wow. back pictures. so lo and behold i took off with a bedouin tribe i had no clothing for the for the they would sit on a camel i had to rent a camel i found this little guy who was a who could be a guard for me he came with me and i had to go into a into a souk to buy the clothing Wow. Lo and behold, the only clothing I could find was men's Bedouin clothing. I looked like Lawrence of Arabia. So there I was, kind of dressed up with all this stuff. And um, I went off. And this is a story really about my experience with the Bedouin tribe. And uh, yeah. whew, it, it, uh, it, it got more and more involved because they didn't want me to take pictures. And and finally, you know, days after days after days, I would travel with them. They kept moving to, into the depths of the Sahara. And, um, and then I had to escape. It was, it was really something. And this, is, I taught, taught it. I said, well, it's an adventure in faith because I do have faith. And I, was, I asked God to protect me. And lo and behold, he did. And I had to come back in the Sahara now. This is incredible. The story has been, since it's been out, a lot of people have said it's very cinematic. So I'm now writing a screenplay. Oh, oh my gosh, amazing. I, I mean, there's a one point where I'm coming back, I'm escaping, I'm coming back on, on my camera. Yeah, I can see it. I'm laying back because uh, you have to move in the in the nighttime, you know, when all the stars are so bright out, out there. And I'm looking at the stars and I said to God, please, please, God, please direct me. Which way do I come back? Is it, am I, uh, do I need to keep heading north? And lo and behold, there was a meteor shower that went from, went north. <laughs> and God, I really felt God said to me, yes, this is, I'm, I'm protecting wow. you. This is the way to go. Wow. Wow, <laughs> Christina, you have a very magical story. Yes. This is incredible. It's filled with so much magic. And I, 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 as I'm listening to you, I'm like, she's very brave. You're very brave. You have the, quite the adventurous soul and you're not afraid to lead out as long. I can tell it's as long as your intuition is telling you it's okay. As long as you're, the, then you're like, yep, I will do anything. I will do it. I will, I will, I will go get men's sheet clothing and I will jump on a freaking camel and I will go do this. It's just amazing to see what can happen yes. when you live that way. Wow. That's yes. And of course that was then, but now I'm more cautious. <laughs> I'm glad you made it out safely. I'm definitely <laughs> yeah. glad. And it, wow, that's, it's just so incredible. I'm like looking at all the pieces of your life that you've shared and it's just been so just filled with magic just feel in it. And it's really, really beautiful that it's, you know, it's a beautiful story of a father um, instilling this, this desire, maybe not even knowingly, he probably had no idea of how far you would take this geography <laughs> quiz. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> but it's it's no. so beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's your adventurous soul. It just, yes. it's such a great yeah. example. But one thing is I have to mention too, it's fabulous. Um, I live way up in the mountains of Colorado. There's a zigzag road that goes up into where we live. And uh, at nighttime in August, I lay outside on the 12th of August outside and the Persoid meteor showers are zooming across the sky. And that always brings me back to my experience. In the wow. Day. Isn't that incredible? Oh, I'm, well, also I'm like, I'm trying not to lean into the energy of jealousy that you have such a clear view of the night sky that you can see a meteor shower. That's amazing. <laughs> I, 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 anybody that, that that's tuning in, if they hear me, and you do have a clear night nice side, the 12th of August, the Persoid Media Showers. Mm. And my wow. birthday is the 13th of August. So this is an this is brings me into my birthday. 
your birthday's the 13th of August. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. And I also love, I'm sure that this probably set out in the ears of the listener. I love that, you know, during the time of COVID, of course, it's not shocking by your personality, but you weren't like, oh, woe is me. I can't do my trips. It was now is the perfect opportunity yes. to do, to do that book, yes. you know, and look what's come of it as you, as you lean into it that way and look at you, it seems to me that you look at everything as a beautiful, magical opportunity. No yeah. Um, and it's, don't you? we do. Yeah, we do. And you know, the fact no, that not everyone does though. <laughs> yes, we see that now, but because of what we're saying, yeah, hopefully they, we can bring more people into this. Place. Yes. 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 So, uh, precious. Every day is precious. Every moment is precious. Live mm -hmm. your life and say yes to your precious life. It's an important thing to do. You yes. know, be, be your own best friend. Listen to yourself, tune in, you know, and um, I just feel like every single day, it's, it's just a, a blessing. It's a blessing. And without getting too deep into it, um, love knows no boundaries, no distance. Uh, just wherever you go, mm. enjoy being with you. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, and then we find friends who, who can, you know, tune into where we are and who, who we are. And, yeah. and, um, you know, enjoying this life. Not everybody. Sometimes you don't have many friends that are just like you, yeah. but you'll find them. Yeah. You no, know, you'll find them and uh, it'll, it'll be great. And I found, to be honest, it's really interesting. Most of my friends are my clients now. Yeah. Because cool. <laughs> they've enjoyed all these experiences with me. You know? You're obviously like-minded souls, you know, you're interested in the same thing. So it completely makes sense. Yes. Are you still doing these trips? Uh, has this started back up again now that? Well, as you see, the thing is, I've had a lot of clients calling me. <laughs> I want to go into quarantine for seven days or more mm. before going somewhere. They don't have that time allowance. You know, they want yeah. to go somewhere for two weeks, to right. two weeks, but to have to have it the other, other time. So we're waiting for that to calm down. Okay. okay. And my husband is a holistic MD, by the way. He and, is. Yes, he is. And um, I, so I'm we're getting like, into, you know, a lot of the COVID stuff and all this business and wherever we, you know, he doesn't come with me. He's got his practice here. But um, so I, I just know what's going on around the world. And I, I feel just calm. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. I, I would love to interview him. I wish I could have interviewed you together. <laughs> It'd be the, so fun to see you two together. <laughs> I've interviewed many holistic doctors on the podcast and really? they, yeah, I mean, that's, I'm more in the holistic area of health. And so it's, it's every, it's, it's my language. It's my tribe. It's, you know, everyone who's listening here is like, yes, have him on. I'm sure. Cause that's, that's right. we're yeah. on the same mission, you know? No, because well, I was, you know, with, with my being in the, um, it's interesting because he had a practice in California and then he moved up and bought a ranch on the out into the, in the wilderness here. And he knew what I was doing and he invited me up and, and just proposed right away. He said, I think we'd make an incredible team in every way because wow. what we believe in and what we do. And it's been 31 years. <laughs> wow. Oh, makes me want to cry. That's so beautiful. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh man. And I have to ask is, so are you still living there? Is that why you're in Colorado? I had to ask, I'm like, of all the places, why Colorado? <laughs> that's, that's where we are. He has a yeah. he has practice and, um, you know, this is where I've got my base basically. And, um, just seems, where we are. Seems very um, fitting. <laughs> a lot of people are moving, but we keep saying, well, if we move, where would we go? What's yeah. better than where we live? beautiful and um and the neighbors are very sweet you know we've got yeah don't have too many around here but <laughs> you know you remind me of um tony robbins once said that if you ask someone from indiana it, it was like so a couple from indiana was saying like where should we move we hate indiana um and he was saying something like well i promise wherever you move to you're gonna hate that too 
<laughs> because that's your vibration of being. And then he met another couple and they're like, we love where we live. And he was yes. teaching like, they'll yes. love wherever they go. Cause it comes yeah. from within, you know? And I just, I, you made me think of that. Cause you're just like, Oh, it's beautiful. Where would be better? You know, just this beautiful optimism and seeing the beauty. I, I would say that you're one of your special um, gifts that you bring to those around you is probably seeing the beauty and everything around you. It's, it's just, I've heard it all throughout this, this podcast from, from people to nature, to experiences, to life itself, to the body, you know, so it's such a beautiful quality. Thank you for sharing that. Well, gosh, well, it's been uh, wonderful chatting with you. This has been the best one I've ever done. Oh, is it? We're very <laughs> aligned. I'm like, oh, like it, anything else I can like just squeeze from your, you know, experience. I'm just like, it's so, it's so aligned with what I'm just oh, at the precipice of starting. So and it's just you know, amazing. Last one, let me know. I'd okay. Like I want I definitely will. <laughs> you better not just be saying that. It's just kidding. <laughs> We'd love to hit a hike with you in silence and watch the light dance on the leaves. <laughs> All right, Christina, thank you so much. We'll link everything in the show notes, guys, that we talked about today. Um, her website is Chris. Is it Harrell? Is that how you say your last name? Yes. Harrell. Yeah. Christina Harrell. It's eight. It's Christina with a K and then H U R R E L L.com. Um, and we'll link everything that we talked about here in the show notes, Christina, oh, no. thank you so thank much for you sharing your so beautiful much. journey with us oh, today. Well, thank you for sharing yours. It was a <laughs> pleasure. Oh, make my day. <laughs> God bless. Thank you so much. 